what's going on guys dress yes here today we're checking out sans aura the game is released into early access on steam right now if you want a 20 percent discount you might want to pick the title up it's pretty cool see so we're going to start a new game here so there's going to be some brand new character customization stuff so let's see here what can we actually do so it looks like you can change the face you can change the skin tone you can change the hairstyles you can do hair color <laughs> beard style and beard color so we'll customize this real quick and then we'll be ready to go so it looks kind of weird having a beard on these characters since they look so young so i'm just going to go with this let's go and get on into it Nice. Let's go to get on to it. So let's see here. If you guys map your interact button, just so you're aware at the current time, it doesn't actually transfer over. So let's see here within the menu. You can equip armor and weapons. View quest in your journal. Go to the options menu. See, so we click tab for that stuff. Nice. So there's going to be little hits and everything around in the world is going to be nice, bright colors. The stalagnates appear to move like musculature. Each undulating ligament is colored in shades of the sun at least as it's depicted in the books of old. Leaning closer, you see the formation is covered with dozens of glowing grubs. I like the fact that they got like narration and everything everywhere. All right, sweet. So if you guys are a fan of Dark Souls, this game is definitely worth checking out. Giving the button a quick tap will allow you to quickly dodge out of harm's way. Putting down the button will give you a boost in speed and sprinting. OK, so shift. Nice. See, so we'll be able to do this. Boom. Yeah, so this is going to be another game where there's probably going to be plenty of deaths and everything. So <laughs> we'll see how long each of these episodes are. Striking in Starspire, but you're always reliable with the time. Good to see you, Knight to be. What say we save a town? Our town. What say we do? Why us? If it isn't the remnant knights who will replenish Starspire's water stores. Then who? You believe this is a task for the town's bellwethers? <laughs> Recall just a few nights from last, as that fire sang its scorching aria inside Starspire's church. How many of the town's watchmen stood by our sides to drown its furious spirit? A meager and sober few. But a few did stand with us. And I suppose that does mean there's good intentions within the otherwise sniveling ranks. But goodwill only spread from the top down. Rindell, the lead bellwether, is failing them. Orders what they need, like what we have. But water is a deserved right to each and every soul in Starspire. So let's be the ones to provide it. I'll check my journal and prepare. Nice, the reserve supply quest accepted. See, so let's come down around over here and see what hint they got for us. Ringing the residence bell will heal your wounds, refresh your testament bell, and save your progress. Throughout the world, you will find bells, deck bells. If you kill, you will revive at the last rung bell. Enemies in the world will also revive. However, you will drop glint or currency on death and will have one chance to achieve it after death. Press E to ring the bell. See, so boom. Oh, that's interesting. So it told me the right button for that, huh? All right, so let's see. So we got another tip around here. Enemies must be dealt with or you may find yourself overrun. Unleash normal attacks to slay them. Normal attacks generate corruption, which build up and can be released as a special attack. Nice, all right, so let's see. We just need to kill you there, buddy. Now it looks like we do have some sort of like shield thing. He fell off the world, so that works out. 
<laughs> Looks like you're not able to harvest the crystals or anything around here. It's just for lighting. We got a couple dudes around here, so hold on. We're going to kill these guys real quick, and then we'll worry about whatever's showing up. They're both dead. When you generate enough corruption through normal acts, unleash a devastating special attack upon your enemies. Using a special attack will also provide you with a spell blade charge. Press F to use special attack. Okay, nice. Let's see, so what do we got here? Testament bells will close your wounds and recover lost health. They are limited in supply and can be recovered by using the resonant bell. Okay, sweet. Let's see, so let's run around this way, see if we can find anything. Looks like we got a few. Ooh, poison. I hate these guys. <laughs> I remember some of this stuff from the demo. Alright, so we got us a Spellblade Gem of the Frost. I don't... That's new. Alright, so hold on. We got another one of these guys. So let's just kill you real quick. And we can open up the treasure chest. And what did we get? We got... 84 gold. And a health rune. Nice! And some gloves. I'm assuming armor and everything is going to be important here eventually too, so we'll definitely check that stuff out here in a minute. Alright, so from over where we were standing to get that first hint, there's a gigantic staircase. Let's come up here, kill all the bad guys, and see what we got. Let's see, so he's dead. Boom, pick up some armor, some wraps pants. Let's see, so if you click tab, you can go into your armor skills here. So basically, this is going to where a character's actually putting clothes on. Put some gloves, put some new pants on, and if you hover over it, it shows you 10 and 13. So obviously this one's going to be a lot better than the one that we were looking at. So let's use you. It looks like it is able to put a rune slot, so that I assume would be you, and then we should be able to like drag it over to something. For example, our sword, it looks like. So sweet! Alright, nice. Now, what do we have here for a hint? Hold on, we're going to have to kill a few of these guys. Looks like we got some sort of shield bonus here. Let's see, what are you? While you have a spell gem imbued in your weapon, you may build up a spell blade charge through the special attacks. While activating them, you can use block dodge, normal attack, special attack, or deactivate to a different elemental effect of the spell gem. Okay, sweet. Let's see, so let's pick this up. Fire spell. This gem has been rumored to hold the breath of fire. Sweet. All right, so let's see. What are you? Using this item causes you to die to return to the last place you re rested. If you're stuck somewhere, there's no way getting out. Now that is really nice. I like the fact that they actually include that inside of their game. A lot of games sit there and just like let you roll with it. And it <laughs> obviously it's like a early access thing. It's very nice having the ability to sit here and just like go back from the start. All right, so hold on. We want to do shield. Oh, did that kill both of you? No, no, no. They just moved. Okay. Let's see, so they got that guy destroyed. Let's see, so we are taking quite a bit of damage here. I don't think we got anywhere close to a bell, did we? All right, so from the fire pit, if we run up the stairs, it looks like this is going to be the next area we need to go to. So let's see here. Are you? I speak to you. Ah, yeah. Dear knight to be, your presence warms my soul, but not a creaking thing for my fingers. <sighs> Frigid, wretched place, this temple. Even with the Church of Lisa still in embers, right above the very spot where we stand. A horrible thing, that, the fire. Yes, it was terrible. And that fire, it's left us with all this. An entire river of runoff. Ashen, sickened runoff. My, we threw all the water we had at that fire, didn't we? Uh, well, at least we're still alive. What were you doing down here, Galena? Stay safe, Galena, goodbye. Can we drink from it? Hope that I can salvage something from the church above in this runoff. We lost a lot of memories in that blaze, and a friend, too. Even if he did what he there. Well, anyway, there's a chest that's caught in the debris at the mouth of this runoff. Maybe worth your while. Can we drink from it? No. Ash and debris aside, this water carries the corruption of the night plague. One drink, you might start to have shadowed thoughts. A full belly of it. You will not be you anymore. We can't let a soul in Starspire drink from this. Stay safe, Galena. Alright, so let's see your barrel run across. It is super dark in this area. Nice! Alright, so hold on. So it looks like there's going to be a couple enemies. So if you use an enemy, you can actually have them sort of block for you. And they're both going to run away. So let's see here. So if we do you, try to get a shield up here. Boom! Nice! All right, so that's all done. Pick you up. So we got a haste ruin. Now, is there anything that we missed over here? Or is this just a dead end? 
Okay, so this is the chest she was talking about. I'm assuming as soon as we open this, we're probably going to get attacked. Yep. <laughs> nice, right on cue. Now, all three of them are going to be running away here. So we got plenty of health right now, so we seem to be doing fine. Let's see, so it looks like it's going to be a couple hits to kill each one of these guys. We do have a healing bell if we need to. So basically, there's three bells that can use as like a immediate healing. That's in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Basically, if you get low or like your screen starts flashing red, you hit the button, you get three chances at life, basically, or else you're going to be screwed and have to restart. So make sure you use those sparingly. Let's see, now you, what are you? Stones beneath your feet have been delicately carved by hand. This pattern is found all across the temple, but here encased within the circle, it gives the sense of waves in an ocean. Yeah, I can kind of see that you would imagine waves to be huh all right so let's see so what's the next tip in this area you take reduced damage while holding your block time to block right away just to avoid damage taking momentarily stun the enemy this allows you to deal increased damage to them okay so block to parry nice see now if we run around over here there's a whole bunch of things in like the middle here but just making sure we're not missing like anything on the outskirts looks like that is it so hold on here Let's go speak to these little guys here and get them all dead. We should be able to take this area over. I don't know why they're not actually moving. Looks like that little orb, though, is what we're looking for, is like the main artifact in the other area. So we're definitely in the right spot. Pick up the artifact. Offering to Milgum. Okay, so we got another tip over here. Bridges extend across the endless abyss. These were believed to be the aqueducts that transferred the water supply to the great kingdoms across Talamel. Huh. So if you guys are curious how to advance the dialogue, by the way, if you guys are playing this, you click D in order to swap between the different lines. Now, it looks like there's something around over here, though. So hold on, we'll pick you up real quick. Scripture of Lessis. Now then, this took us back around. Obviously, we are going to have to, like, learn some of the dungeon layouts, so... <laughs> We don't get completely lost, but I think this is another way. It's just a little bit more fighting. Yeah, because that's the main bell, so we're definitely at least able to look to where we're supposed to be going. If it weren't for the time-worn straps that make this bag so recognizable, it would be the mix of aromas that emanate from within Galma's medicine bag. Oh, is that the bag she was looking for? See, now are we able to hop down without dying? See, so we're going to like slowly push this way. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Sucker. Well All right, so let's place you down. Well done. The water. It's just through here. Uh, come this way. Onward to victory. Now, before we even do that, we're going to ring the bell, make sure we get some full on health and everything. So let's do this. As you guys can see in the bottom left hand corner, we got like that white bar there. That's basically going to be our health bar. The bells have been restocked from two to three, so we are good to go. Into this inner sanctum. Behold, the reason Star Spire will never dry up. This cistern is no. No, no, Lysis, no! Corrupt what? corpses. There, in the water. Fallen from the church fire. If we act quickly, most of the reserve can be saved. Work quickly! Got it, sir! Now, how do we work quickly? little door here yeah so we might need to turn sounds back on because it looks like it's not actually playing sounds for some reason so we'll definitely try to get some of that stuff working out oh is he actually helping us fight this time what this is so different than the demo. So in the demo, we did like a whole area where we had to like speak to the dude and we did like 10 minutes of trial and stuff. Looks like we just skip right into that and I don't remember him helping us fight this gigantic creature either. That's really cool. 
Obviously, the two of us are going to be able to take him out much quicker than just by ourselves. See, so we need to back off, get some health potion. Let's ring our little bell here. That's right, sucker. See, <gasps> ooh, that was a little close. Yep, still need to heal. From the waters. All right, so let's see. So the boss is in here. Let's see if we can get as enough damage on this dude as possible to slowly start killing him. See, the crystal is completely out of charges, unfortunately, so that would slow him down. If we had any available charge left, that would definitely be useful for here. Let's see, so we're going to just slowly start chunking away his health. We're going to try to take a little bit less damage here in this first phase. Let's see, so he's completely toasted. So basically, there's going to be two attacks. Bosses, you're not able to block any attacks. You're basically just going to have to dodge through it. If you don't dodge through it, you are going to take a, quite a bit of damage, and it is slowly going to kill you. So we need to wait for our stamina and everything to cool down here. So he's going to jump towards us. Let's see, so we need to dodge both of you, ring our bell. Now we're trying to stick somewhat near him to where he doesn't actually try to do like the laser attacks. If he does the one where it's just like straight in front of us is not too bad, but the one where he like goes side to side, that's the one we're trying to avoid. Let's see, so he's going to roar. Yes, 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 you are so intimidating, buddy. Let's see, so we need to, ooh, we messed that one up. See, so we got a couple extra bells here, so hold on, we'll, we should be fine. So he jumps backwards, we're going to have to dodge through both of his attacks. Let's see, go through another one. Ring bell. Just trying to stick slowly ahead of this dude, there we go. So he sort of falls down on the ground, that's definitely going to give us a couple seconds. Let's see. Dodge through both of these guys. So this is another game where basically at the very end, if you do make a mistake, you can sit here and do the entire boss fight all over again. But we managed to actually pick through. So armor penetrating ruins. So we got two of that. So we got a health ruin and a scripture of Lessis. See, now we're able to speak to everybody else. Are you okay there, buddy? Ear splitting that screeching. Are you bleeding? Up, up. We've got to get you out of here. Hey, lady, I found your medical bag. It's all the way on the top of the mountain there. I didn't know how to pick it up to give it to you. Lawrence has been wounded. Whatever that creature was, it was the sickened water that made it. <coughs> we must drain the reservoir. All of the water. Drain it all. Night to be. I'll take care of it, Lawrence. All right, so let's see here. How does one drain the water? As you oh. work the ramshackle device... Did I skip through that dialogue? I didn't mean to. Yeah, I'm really sorry if I skipped through that dialogue. I, <laughs> I didn't know if you were supposed to like push a button to rotate the thing yourself, and it seems I clicked the button and the dialogue stopped. Now, the fact that we see this much blood and just like a gigantic trail leading this way is probably not a good sign. Now, it says talk, but talk to who? So I'll ring the bell. That at least gives us some stuff here. So hold on. So the Grandmaster is not here in this area. So we're going to try to go back into the dungeon and then back out and see if it maybe like refreshes the area. That way he spawns in. That's kind of weird. All right, guys, well, it looks like that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll definitely be continuing checking this game out. Let me know if you guys want to see a full playthrough of it. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.